Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. So I've been doing these videos now for about two years, and I realized something the other day. There was a video that I should have done first or second, but it's long overdue. And what we're talking about today is the single most important aspect of your image. The single most important part, number one, numero uno. Do you guys have any guesses? Is it my new blank label shirt that I just got? Gray and white check with pink inside the collar, inside the cuff? No. Is it the super cool new watch that I just got sent by a company named Phosphor? Check it out. Black leather band with red. It's funky, it's cool. Is that it? No. However, if you stick around to the end of the video, they sent me two, one to give away, and so I'm gonna tell you how to win this at the end of the video. It's not your hair, it's not your beard, it's not your jeans, it's not your shoes, it's not your outfit, it's your character. Your character is a combination of features and qualities that distinguish you from everybody else around you. Now you may be the best looking guy in town. You might have the best hair, have the best clothes. You might really give off a great first impression. You look people in the eye, you shake their hand, but then they get to know you and your character is lacking or you are a jerk, and guess what? You've just become the ugliest person in the room. You know, anyone can, with money can go out and buy a great pair of pants or shoes or jeans or get a good haircut and look put together. That doesn't impress me. What impresses me about somebody is their character, their legacy. When I'm dead and gone, when you're dead and gone, how are people going to remember you? Is it that you were really funny and you could make fun of other people? Or was it that you were a great guy, that you tried your hardest, that you were polite, you were courteous, you were a man? And what is a man? I think that our society has really let the young adult guy down. You know, it used to be expected that men were supposed to be polite and supposed to treat people with respect. When you're going somewhere and you're with somebody, grab the door, open it for them, let them walk through. You know, you see an old lady come into a coffee shop and she's hobbling around, or just the fact that she's older, she's a woman, and there are no seats available, get your ass up and let her have your seat. It's not gonna kill you. These are things that, as guys, we are not taught anymore. And, you know, it might be that I'm a little bit older than you guys. And, you know, trust me, I've been around the block, I've seen a few things, but along with giving you good advice on how to dress, how to match colors, I think it's also important that I, you know, share with you sort of my perspective on how to be a decent person, how to have good character. One of the key aspects of your character is confidence. And I think that your character will improve the more confident you get. And that's really one of the reasons why I do these videos. I want you to feel great about yourself. There's a big difference between a confident guy and a cocky guy. The cocky man is somebody who's always posturing, putting other people down, thinking that he's better than other people. And uh, you know what? He's not. <laughs> the confident guy is somebody who has a very good sense of self. He knows who he is. There's nothing that you or me can say to him that's gonna discourage him or make him feel less secure in who he is. A confident man is somebody who is secure in who he is. He doesn't need to posture for anybody. He doesn't need to put other people down in order to build himself up. He knows who he is and that's all right with him. And YouTube channels are a lot like life. Um, your channel is basically a outward expression of who you are and what you're into. You may do videos, you may just comment on other people's videos or like other people's videos. And that's great. There are some people that want to be in front of the camera. They want to be out there. And they may have a message. And it really doesn't matter what the message is. The fact of the matter is that there are going to be people that comment on a video. There are going to be people that comment on your life and tell you what they think. But these people we'll call them haters. They're people that have nothing better to say or do and have very poor character but just want to basically feel good about themselves by tearing you down. These people are really, in my opinion, not worth any of your time. Don't even think about them. These people are worthless, pathetic pieces of crap. They feel good by tearing you down 
and telling you you can't do something or that you're a jerk. It doesn't matter how great a video or what you're saying or what you're trying to do is, these people are going to have something negative to say. Why? Because they want to rise out of you. They want you to retaliate. They want you to come back with something venomous. That gives them more energy, more power. And guys, I'm here to tell you, I need you to develop your character, your confidence, your good sense of self, because I don't want you doing that. I want you to be above it. Don't give these guys the fuel that they're looking for. And it doesn't matter how great your message is. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do. If you want to be a, a astronaut, somebody's going to say, you can't be an astronaut. That's stupid. You should just be an accountant. Or you might want to be a circus performer. And somebody's going to be like, that's so stupid, and you're going to get hurt, and carnies are weird. It doesn't matter what your message. It doesn't matter how great it is, how wonderful, that you're trying to help people. Somebody is always going to try and tear you down, have something negative to say. As an example, I'll show you one of the most perfect videos I ever made. Hi, great news. My cat Piglet just discovered a cure for cancer. She did. Hello, friend. Mm, kittens. <laughs> How cute. Piglet's helping lots of people. Everybody should like this video, right? <laughs> you are so stupid. And gay. <laughs> and this brings up important point number two. The whole you know, trying to offend somebody by calling them gay, or this or that, or you, you know, smoke sausage, whatever it is. I get a ton of these comments. And the thing that just blows my mind is it's the 21st century. Where you put, or I put, or any guy puts their penis, or who they like to kiss, makes absolutely no difference whatsoever, in my opinion. It's about character. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're Brazilian. What, you haven't heard that about Brazilians? Swing to the left. Swing to the right. They swing both ways. <laughs> Practice what you preach. When people are throwing negative comments at you and telling you you can't do something or this or that or trying to insult you, it seems like the ins insults are coming from every direction. Pew, 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 pew. And you're like, bing, bing, bing. I'm Teflon, bitch. You know who you are. You're confident. You have a great sense of self. You've got great character. And you're not going to sink to any level to retaliate. I know it's tempting to, you know, call somebody a douche and to get into a sparring match. But guess what? That's what the haters want. You need to be secure in yourself. You need to be true to you. And you don't need to sink to their level. So guys, this week you've got a homework assignment. I don't want you to run to your closet, see what you have, see what you need. Uh-uh, I want you to run to the mirror. Take a hard look at yourself and figure out what type of person you are. What is your character? And then this week, pay attention to how you handle yourself, how you handle other people, how you handle adversity. Are you someone who's going to basically get joy and satisfaction out of tearing other people down? Or are you someone who is going to try to cultivate and develop your sense of self? Have a good character. Treat people kindly. Do the best you can. That's what life's about, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I've been around 34 years. I'm older than most of you. And uh, you just need to take care of yourself and treat people well. That is somebody who has a great image and good character. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Little heavy, I know. <laughs> After last week's underwear contest video, I figured... I gotta be a little serious, I can't follow that up with something goofy. But anyway, a few weeks ago I got contacted by a watch company named Phosphor. Well, Phosphor makes really cool uh, digital watches. And uh, they're kind of funky, kind of eccentric, but they sent me one. And I said, you know what, if you're going to send one, why not send two? Because I'd like to give one away. And they obliged me, and so you guys have the chance to win a new Phosphor watch. $150 value. They sent me one. It's black leather band, silver face. You can actually change the way that the time is displayed. You can also change the color if you want it white. Anyway, really cool watches. I've really enjoyed mine over the past week. But anyway, that's mine. This is the one I'm giving you. It's silver. 
It's black. It's a really cool watch. So, how do you win this? You have to post the video response and tell me what you're really proud of yourself for. It might be a characteristic of yourself or a trait or that you turned the other cheek one time, but I want to know what you feel really great about yourself about. And um, that's sort of in line with what this video was about today. Anyway, I'm going to pick somebody randomly and uh, send you the watch. You don't have to be a resident of the United States. You can be pretty much anywhere. I'm not that cheap that I won't send this to Nepal. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tell me what you're proud of. And uh, you got one week. I'm going to announce the winner next Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.